Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to As Far As The Eye. I hope everybody had a good <laughs> a good little break there. Uh, so, we are in a dangerous position here, and it is entirely possible we're going to lose this game. Because uh, we're like, food-wise, we're, <laughs> we're in danger. But, if we do, we'll start another one. It's not. I'm not going to end the series like that. Uh, that said, you know, we're not dead yet. Let's not Let's not count our chickens before they've killed us. It is unfortunately going to take some time to... Oh wait, can we not even cross the mountain? Can you not... Oh, you can't even cross mountain. Oh god. Well, that's not good. We need to, uh... <gasps> Pepkins! That's what we need to. Okay, so... An interesting question arises. Uh, we would prefer to go to this node. 2160 knowledge is perhaps unrealistic. We could, before settling down on this tile, which I think is where we want to settle down, uh, we could spend 200 knowledge for seduction, and it would immediately tame, I believe, both of these pack animals, and then give us room to unfold, and we can we can have people start gathering um, pepkins, and we can get the cook uh, the cookhouse out. But if we are going to try to take the 2160 knowledge path, we probably can't afford to spend. You know what? It's not going to happen. It's just, it's unrealistic. Let's just do this. Bam. Take on two new pack animals. And we have to get, let's see, Gompo needs to start unfolding. Let me think here. So the, pa the camp's probably going to go here. Do we just cook house there? Do we need this tile for something? It might be a good place to put down the um, to put down the hunter's hut. Actually, once we have the ability to uh, to trap fine game, so I'm going to okay. We're gonna have Gompo unfold the cookhouse here. Then we're going to have somebody, and it doesn't matter who... No, it does matter who. Latana, get the camp out. We're going to have Faza just go here and wait, because Faza needs to start cooking immediately. Odum, gather Pepkins. Marilane, scout. We have five turns before we run out of food. <laughs> it's scary. Uh, you know what? Are we at... We are at maximum work. Yeah, one gather, two... Okay, 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 okay. Four turns. Alright. I'll say this, though. Boy, there sure are a lot of Pepkins around here. Also, even more Pack Beasts? Kind of unbelievable. Actually, no. Go this way. Oh, no, no, no wait. Not you. You stay right the hell here. You go this way. Okay. Um, you may as well figure out what's over here. Okay. That was another, that was another couple turns of food right there. I think we're going to be okay. So Faza needs to start cooking immediately. We have enough wood and enough meat to cook for 11 turns, which is going to produce 500 rations. So yeah, 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 we're cool. We're cool, we're good. Um, let's, let's do one of these. Please unfold the, the buildings more quickly. Uh, and Gompo needs to get, or Gompo rather, needs to get up here, or... Yeah, let's see if there's a, a, a good place to put down the Hunter Sun. I mean, even if we just put it down here, 500 normal meat will give us enough experience to get good at trapping fine game. So, yeah, it's gonna be okay. Nero, man, it's scary. It's a scary game. Um, why don't you... Go and... What does it cost to build a... Um, a sawmill? Okay, a permanent sawmill would be 40 wood. 
If there are trees over here anywhere, that's a thing we need to do. Wood can be very tricky to come by in a canyon. Unfortunately, we might just be in kind of a kind of scary shape here. Okay, well this is a pretty great place to put the hunter's hut up. We will we will not even delay that decision. Go ahead and do the thing. Aren't you supposed to be moving? Oh, right. <laughs> the huts go up instantly. That's right. We, we took a thing specifically for that. Okay, so we have here 271 wood. <clears throat> now, I'm a little concerned that we may end up finding that it is difficult for us to meet the 540 wood requirement. Especially for cooking the whole time. I don't really know what to do about that, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so what else do we need? We need stone. Actually, you go set up a quarry somewhere. Does it matter where? Matters a little. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what resources I'm comfortable displacing. I mean, it can be here. This is fine. So then you are the one who is actually doing the scouting. And you should go and secure meat. Okay, there is another forest. It does not have a lot of wood in it. Hmm. Alright, you need to come home, start working on this. You can finish scouting these tiles. Okay, bog mosquitoes do not matter. So, we're about to have several pack beasts. More than one pack beast by a bunch. Uh, maybe we can... Maybe we can trade for enough wood. You can trade for wood at a, at a market, right? God damn it. <laughs> well, that's ugly. A mobile sawmill that would actually allow us to get all of the stuff we need. Hmm. Yeah, a mobile sawmill that would actually get us allow us to get all of the wood via sawmilling is not cheap. And we'd have to spend wood to build the ore mining facility. Sure, boy. And if we're still cooking... Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. We might have to give up on this. <clears throat> I don't know if we can generate enough knowledge quickly enough. But I'm, I'm thinking 540 wood may turn out to be actually impossible. Okay. Uh, if that's the case... What can we do? to accelerate the rate of knowledge gain. I mean, most buildings don't have relevant upgrades. Sometimes we can upgrade a person to increase their rate of knowledge gain, but we'd have to make 1,500 knowledge. Well, 1,600. 1,600 knowledge in the next 100 turns. An average of 16 knowledge per turn for the entire time that we're on this halt. If everybody's working really hard, it's not impossible. It's not likely, though. Yeah, we might... <laughs> we might be doomed. Well... I think this is what we're doing. So... You're gonna gather those guys... I am going to make a temporary... I'm, I'm going to make a permanent 
woodcutter's camp, I think. And we're just gonna... We're just gonna sawmill. It's a permanent sawmill here. And we're just gonna try to generate the knowledge. I mean, every time we complete a gather cycle, it generates knowledge. Okay, you probably don't need to be doing that. Can you go get that other pack animal, please? It's also entirely possible that um, a friendly caravan will wander through and give us good, uh, give us a bunch of knowledge. They do offer that fairly frequently. All right, you need to be doing something. Come over here and get stone. All right, friendly caravan has arrived. It doesn't really matter who does this, right? I'll have I'll have Latana be the one who talks to him. Meet them. Drudgery. Uh, pupils do not want to be gatherers right now. That's okay. We can deal with that. Uh, you do not want to give me the chance to do the things, the good things. Okay, well. I will trade you 40 stone for some potions, I think. I don't think that's a big deal. But I'm pretty bummed out about that uh, that option. So we have five turns until we need to have no gatherers. And obviously what we're going to do is just like have Gompo stop doing this for a minute. And same deal with you, I guess. Uh, Gompo, is there a useful building to unfold? There is the dispensary. I don't think we really care about the dispensary, though. See, we need to be gathering wood for the moment because we need to keep cooking. XP gain through cooking is, uh, or uh, knowledge gain through cooking is definitely an important part of our overall plan. Yeah, I don't really know what to have Latana do. I guess Latana's on... We can't gather wood from here. <clears throat> we don't need Pepkins. But honestly, it might... Well, you know what? I don't know if you generate knowledge. You, you generate knowledge while just making random... Random gathers, right? Hold on, let's find out. Latana will gather quickly enough that uh, they will still they will not still be need to be a gatherer when the drudgery hits. I think. Yeah, we're good. Okay, yeah, you still you still generate knowledge. Sorry. Just move to. Well, actually, sorry, move to right here. Just stay where you are. Okay, and then you also stop being a gatherer for a turn. Okay. Back to gathering. Hooray! So yeah, every time somebody brings back a, uh, a load of resources, we're getting 15 knowledge. It looks like the cooking is not producing knowledge. We are not really on pace, are we? They all stop working, leave their resources, have to be reassi reassigned. Not a big deal. Honestly, it, the knowledge is coming in pretty quickly. A friendly caravan has arrived, and soon there will be a malfunction. You know what? Keep doing your thing here. Odum is Hunter 2, and we should, should definitely get the ability to hunt those fine birds. Okay. So you are going to meet this caravan. You are going to cook us up some more roasted meat. Keep doing this. You... Actually, just start doing that. Uh, oh! Reducing travel costs by a quarter. Pretty big deal, actually. Friendly caravans, turns out, saving the day. 
1620, I'm pretty sure we can hit. We were back and forth on this one a little bit. This was, uh, <laughs> this was a scary one. Yeah, which building? Okay. Not a big deal. Oh, wait. The repair of that building will cost a point of minerals. And we can't spend 400 knowledge on this upgrade. Uh-oh. Um. <laughs> hmm. What's it cost to get the, the market up? An amount that we can pay. Okay, well, congratulations. This is your job now. Yeah, and you don't get to do anything. Actually, hold on. Let's maybe do this in a slightly different way. Because <clears throat> I want to I wanna keep gathering resources as efficient. Oh, that's right. Never mind. I was going to have Latana keep gathering so, so as to keep producing knowledge. But I forgot, our trapper cannot build. So instead, you're going to sit perfectly... <gasps> excuse me, sit perfectly still, I guess? That's a real bummer. Okay, it'll be good to have a market for later. A market's a useful thing to have around. Okay. So, let us... Uh, nope, sorry, wrong button. Let us get an ore for some stone. Yes, five. Oh, right, you need to... Yeah. Okay, there we go. So the thunderstorm... Damages buildings... Okay. We have 38 turns. I think we're going to be okay. Maybe. This is inconvenient. Only a little bit, but... <clears throat> yeah, inconvenient nonetheless. Um, I guess we could fold up the uh, the hunting lodge right before that happens. It'd probably be fine. Let you deliver one more one more harvest. So yeah, it seems like the fine resources just don't deplete when you harvest from them, which is uh, bananas. Let's. Pack it up. And then I'll just have you rebuild it somewhere else. Damn it. Right. Never mind. You're gathering pepkins for a minute there, kid. You are going to have to unpack the thing on, uh, on their behalf. Oh, Gompo is a woodcutter level one. Neat. Uh, definitely. 25 knowledge per harvest cycle. Probably probably not a big surprise. Okay. Permanent buildings getting damaged, I don't really care about. Okay, you gotta come home and gather pepkins for the knowledge. And you gotta get back to harvesting infinite birds. Do you think, if these birds are infinite, and it seems incontrovertible that they are, do you think it was a problem before we showed up? Were they just going to slowly creep over the entirety of the landscape? The infinibird? Alright, plain cells wood resources are out, and unfortunately we are now out of places where we, where we can gather wood. Which is a problem, because that was a good source of knowledge. Uh, I guess you're going to come home and gather pepkins. We're going to leave a huge amount of food behind on this one, because we only gathered it to learn how to gather it better. <laughs> how are you doing on... Okay, you're close to another level. How's your thing going? When you level up... 
Oh, I think we're going to take this one for sure. That seems quite good. Being a, being a good hunter of birds also makes you a great hunter of spices? Of wood? You sure can catch a pepkin now. You've never met the pepkin who, who could escape you. Alright, so we have 13 turns and we are 220 knowledge short. Hey, wouldn't it be cool if I hadn't spent 200 knowledge on a thing? I mean, that said, we did need that. Okay, meat plus, uh, meat plus spices. Very, very good recipe. And of course, more recipe efficiency in general. Very good. Uh, amnesia. Oh no! Oh no! Amnesia will totally kill us if we don't. Oh god. That's very bad. Amnesia's gonna make it impossible. Well, impossible to finish before the thunderstorm. But close to impossible in general, maybe? We were so close! <laughs> Oh, heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. Alright, you gotta we gotta push fast on this. Five hundred knowledge. I mean for real, like it hurts. It hurts so much. Alright. So buildings are gonna take random damage and we have to generate so much more knowledge now. If our stone building goes up, we're doomed. Because that's like our main knowledge generator now. Sawmill, okay, not a big deal. We're still generating. Okay, the hunting lodge being destroyed is uh, hugely bad. We can't rebuild it either, can we? Yeah. I do believe we've lost. Yep, yeah, okay, that's it. Let's just uh, go ahead and start a new game. That was... We were good. If it... if I had just stuck to we're going to try to optimize to get to the knowledge, we would have been okay. But because I thought, oh, you know what, the knowledge is impossible, let's not even go for it. Uh, I put us in a place where it became the case that the knowledge was impossible, so we didn't need to go, for, so we couldn't go for it. That's a frustrating way to lose because it's a hundred percent my fault. <laughs> All right, uh, so we're headed to a canyon either way. That's bad. Uh, we need to make sure that we are leaving the canyon via a route that costs resources you can get in a canyon. Uh, which is to say, these all suck? Okay, here you go. Here's your winner. We need to travel the strong walkway to the small canyon halt, and then cross the sacred bridge to the fertile lands. Yep, I think that's the plan. So we need a builder two for this, for this leg, and then an herbalist one for that leg. That should be no problem at all. And, um... Herbalist 1 is, like, completely trivial. Herbalist 1 is completely trivial if we gather 300 spices, and 300 is the smallest amount of spices we've ever seen in a single space. So I don't think we have any worries about being able to do this. And because it's a canyon, there will be some huge amount of stone there. Yeah, this is the plan. We can do this. I'm, bu I'm bummed out about that loss, but I will survive. So, uh, somehow I will get through it, don't worry. Ooh, look at this area. The only question is, where do we actually put down? Um, maybe let's look over here. The ground's a little cleaner over here. So we could do, like, right here to get our starting wood from these two tiles. And then I think it is probably the case that we're going to want a sawmill here um, to make sure that we get to the 300. So, um, it doesn't matter too, too much whether our caravan is near all of the trees. It just needs to be near some trees. So I think let's put it down here. You know what? Here's probably better. This is fine. Okay, let's meet our new 
tribe. Uh, so a tinkerer and a nanny and an herbalist. Marlene has a big appetite and consumes way too much food. That sucks. Uh, but does he, but does have also fewer health points, you know, all downside on that one. Naya gets more resources from remains and sacred sites. Cannot produce uh, potions, which is a little awkward. Because otherwise, like, the combination of this thing and this thing means that, <laughs> that we want Naya, Naya to be our herbalist. But can't produce potions is a real bad trait for an herbalist to have. And then we have a puny and... okay. Puny sucks. This is really... this is a less good start. For sure. So... I guess you're sort of an herbalist, but also the tribe does not need an herbalist, generally speaking. Herbalist is kind of a just kind of a not a useful job, honestly. You're gonna have to do something else. I'm, you're probably gonna be the builder or something. And then you are a grower. Okay. Your job is to get camp set up. Nobody here is a natural grower, but we're not gonna have a uh, we're not gonna have use for a trapper for a little while. And then you guys are scouts. Yeah, the extra food cost thing uh, sucks a huge amount. All right, found some remains. Uh, I leave those for the moment. We have a we have a person for that. Okay, now we have enough. Here, you go and check these out. Now we have enough housing for everyone at least. Okay, a sacred site and pack animal. Nestled in a small alcove and preserved from the vagaries of time, Naya finds a small chest. At the opening of the ladder, a mystical wave shakes the whole area. At the opening of the ladder is a very strange way to phrase this because we're only talking about one object. So I guess it's the ladder. It's also the former, but it's a real not native English speaker thing there. Uh, Naya and the whole tribe have forgotten the discoveries made in the region. Well, that's, like, tedious, but that's it, really. That's the, the entirety of the effect that's going to have. Uh, and then you can head over here, because we know there's more stuff for you to explore over here. Yeah, that's, um, that's a really... A really annoying thing to happen. It's alright, we'll have it all revealed again in no time. Honestly though, a puny pupil is such a it's such a big detriment. Oh right, you can't cross mountains. Uh, uh, go over here and re-reveal all this, I guess. Never mind. Go meet these people. No, not you. The person I had selected when I clicked. Okay, uh, I think we're just gonna pray here. I can't imagine us making that offering. This caravan would like to give us all of their parchments. Boy. Weird, weird offer of trade, given that we could just get parchments here, but I think we're going to take on an additional body. Uh, so, Hogi, very strong, also cannot build. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Aside from having you scout. And then, yeah, you're all done with this. So we don't actually have housing for everybody, which is not a big problem right now. 
Uh, let's have Naya start building stuff. So looking ahead, we are again in a situation where it makes sense to uh, makes sense to make the stone building mobile. So let's get the other buildings up. Um, this is a fine spot for a mine, right? Yeah. We're going through food very quickly. Ah, uh, boy. What was... What are you even... What are you even? We have somebody doing that already. I guess start gathering... No, more wood. We need more wood. I was gonna say food, because all of a sudden we're eating an awful lot awfully quickly. But, uh, we also need wood for buildings. Like, real bad. So we don't have anybody whose deal is stone gathering. We probably need to fix that. Let's make a new guy. New guy, you're a mason. So we'll change your bow color. You are going to need to put up a a wool thing pretty soon. Probably the best place to do that would be all the way over here. Why can you not work? Oh, because I'm, I'm not clicking on the caravan. I'm clicking on the camp. Uh, yeah, start gathering Pepkin, maybe. Just, you know, just in case. Seems like it might become an issue in the near future. We're going to have, actually, our grower get over here. Because it is about to be time to do some growing. Alright, so that stuff has to all come together. And then again, we're in this spot where I think we just gotta... We gotta do a whole bunch of waiting. Uh, oh, here's a question. Do we want to build... Oh, right. Just get back here and we'll figure it out later. We are now on full... full work. We have to either get a whole lot more knowledge, or we have to, um... We have to get a whole lot more wool and stuff. Before you can work again. 100. I don't know why this building's building sound is so much louder than all the others. Nope. Okay. Okay. Help me out here. Offer me some useful resources. Sure, I'll take that. That's always useful. Uh, and we need more people on Pepkins. Uh, you definitely had orders. I don't know why my... Pupils just forget their orders all the time. So this is pretty bad. Um, yeah, the pupils. I just, like, I got totally tied up in trying to get the resource loop online, and I, I was not paying attention to the rate of food loss. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna... It's a little, it's a little bit embarrassing, but we're just gonna uh, restart that one, and I'm gonna pay a little bit closer attention. We are, again, at the end of a long day here. Um, wow, why is that... Who said that this was okay? That's an incredibly large number of resources. Um, so... Traveling through a plant maze requires a lot of knowledge and ore. I guess knowledge makes sense. Jeez. These are some very, very high travel costs. 
Well, I, I think this route is going to make the most sense. It's going to put us in a position where we don't have a lot of choices to move forward, but... Like, 375, 375 wood is not a bad initial travel cost. That's very doable. But a big protected halt is just going to have a ton of auras all over the place. And then the roots leaving that, I don't feel that confident that we'd even be able to put that much, you know, stone. Th that amount of stone is not guaranteed. I, we're going to go this way, but it seems very scary. Okay, so we gotta get... We gotta make sure that we get Pepkin Gathering going a lot earlier. I'm so eager to get, like, the rest of our resource efficiency figured out that I... I don't want to gather Pepkins, you know, I want to try to force the, um... Force the cooking stage as quickly as possible. Okay. We are so far seeing a, um... A real lack of places where it would be acceptable to put down the caravan. We're going to need at least a couple tiles of pepkins and at least a couple tiles of wood in order for our initial position to be at all sustainable. I mean, I guess that's not necessarily true if my first two buildings were food cycle buildings. We just made permanent food cycle buildings and then we allowed ourselves to, to made ourselves comfortable with the idea that we were just going to have to rebuild the food buildings later I guess that could be okay there are pepkins here I mean crossing the bog to get to the other pepkin tile sucks a lot though let's actually go over here okay it turns out there's no place that you can put down a it turns out there's no place you can put down a caravan safely on this entire map, maybe? Hmm. The pepkins on this map are spaced such that it is very difficult to live off of them. Alright, so we're going to have to do the thing I just said where we... We set up our food cycle immediately with the first 200 wood set up the food cycle and then we can figure everything else out afterward we're headed toward a fertile lands halt so there's gonna be water there's gonna be cereals So maybe we're maybe we're on maybe we're on baking again. Uh, I mean, there's certainly enough places here to harvest grain. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's what it is. So we put down right here. Yeah, we have access to some resources. All right, I do not like it though. So uh, start at okay. Here we go. Double damage from fire, can only have one specialized trade, starts as a trapper 3. Inconvenient. Magda, people's tribe cannot pray or bank offerings to sacred sites. Very bad, very hugely bad. Uh, that said, starting as a stone gatherer 3, pretty good. Zimri is good at building and uses housing even when not working. And Marlene is slow and b bad at moving around. Okay, well... This is a pretty bad set of disciples. This is just really crappy. So how are we going to how are we going to divide up the labor here? We have two trappers. It would seem a little silly not to make use of our trappers. So maybe instead of doing grains we try to go like fishing. Sacred, uh, uh, fertile lands have a lot of water. Yeah, maybe this is more of a fishing thing. All right, is there normal fish in this, or is it just fine? Okay, so a fishing, a fishing building right there would be actually really good for us. Uh, and you... Yeah, this is fine. Uh, you are going to be 
the actual trapper. The other trapper is going to have to probably be our builder, I think. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Uh, so yeah, you're you're a good you're a good builder, right, Zimri? And then Marlene is like a gatherer, probably more than an herbalist, because who needs an herbalist at this point in the game? Which is to say, start gathering. You are going to set up camp over here. You are one of you is probably just gonna help with the wood gathering right away, and then we just have somebody idle. I guess there's a little bit of exploring to do. You know what? Let's do the exploring with. Yeah, let's do the exploring with our um, with our trapper, because then they'll be down here already when we when we build the thing, and you are gonna help gather wood. And to be perfectly honest with you, there's a non-zero chance that we're gonna ignore a lot of these remains. I mean, we see we see positive things from them sometimes, but the negative things that you can see from them are so bad that I feel like it's perfectly reasonable to just ignore them. All right, you go meet with them real quick. I guess you just get over here and wait. What else do I want you to do? Go soothe this aura. No, like, right, you could run back, but by the time you run back... Yeah, actually, I'm gonna have you... I'm gonna have the builder move to right here. We're gonna have one of the woodcutters meet the other caravan. Well, you know what? It's probably not even gonna be out of my way. Never mind. But yeah, you are totally just gonna run over there and, and be idle for a little while. Uh, so we can't take this person, we can't do this thing, we can get three potions. I'll take three potions. Okay, they took the absolute longest they possibly could to deliver those resources. Let's just get a temporary fishery up, start stockpiling fish, and then we'll, we'll get a... A bakery, a, a cookhouse up as quickly as we can afterward, and then we'll figure things out. But yeah, we, we do not have time to mess around with pepkins here. This is definitely a different way of doing things, and I'm not sure that I think it's a good way. But it is the way we have available to us. I think it shouldn't be a problem to go and, uh, go and get this done. Just take a minute here to gather uh, to gather wood. Because as soon as we start cooking, we're producing food at a pretty impressive rate, right? Alright, cookhouse can just go kind of anywhere. Oh! Okay. We are making a mine. And somebody can probably chill out on the wood gathering for a minute. You get over here and do some mining. You, I guess, gather wood? I don't know what else you would do right now. Okay, uh, trade 40 stone. Can't, can't give, well, I can give fish. You know what? Sure. Sure, I actually can give fish. It turns out it's a good thing I was stockpiling fish. So you're a very good harvester. You harvest way more resources during the major vagaries. I don't know why Reckless is a picture of a rocket ship, but whatever. You can't build stuff, that's fine. You're probably a gatherer. Um, I guess we'll give you a slightly different brown than the other one. You know what? Why don't you actually go gather... Oh. Oh, that's, that's Marilyn. Um, yeah, that's a problem. How do we want to resolve that? We kind of can't. What we can do is build a pasture right now and then start solving this problem. Did 
Did you really bring back three minerals less than the amount of minerals that we need? Pretty sure that that is exactly what happened, and that sucks. Alright, so who's the... Who's the grower? You're the grower. Right. So you always use housing. I guess you're the grower for right now. That's really not ideal. But it is the way things are going to have to be. Okay, so now you are building a cookhouse. Yeah, temporary, um, temporary cookhouse is real bad. I sensed it intuitively, but now we know for sure. Marilyn could be our cook, actually. Then the, uh, the minus movement doesn't end up mattering very much. Right, I can't, I can't tell you to go over there until, until you know what you're going to be doing there. Zimri, you are such a problem. Okay, you have to stop doing stuff so that you can start doing stuff. And then you can go back to this. Alright, the good news is we're going to have plenty of rations coming in. How much wood does this take? 80? Okay. This could be a little close. Alright, so we gotta we gotta buy this upgrade now to get you back on wood gathering so that there's wood for the stove. Okay, we hit our uh I'm going to divert our stone worker over here, and we're going to get the pepkins together for the goal. And you've got to be pretty close to gatherer two by now, right? No. Absolutely not. Alright, fish are level one. Probably it's more fish per harvest cycle. Right, because you often, you often find that you're cooking food faster than you are gathering it, right? In our case, that won't be an issue for a little while, obviously. Okay, so we're getting real close on the knowledge. And we gotta... So Magda needs to finish gathering the pepkins that we need for the thing, then needs to get back on minerals so that we can start building some... Uh, this doesn't matter, right? Yeah, so, auras or whatever. Because we're going to need to build some mobile buildings. We can't just not have mobile buildings. Alright, back to mining. So let's talk about mobiles. We are going to need... A quarry, for sure. Which I guess can go down here. This is 619 stone. There's no way we mine all that out. Alright, so we need you to finish bringing that over. I'm actually going to send Zimri back to growing. Alright, as long as we keep, uh, as long as we keep only at this, I think we should, yeah, we'll hit grower two real soon. Alright, cool. We're, we're ready to go when it's time to go. We just got to try to... Get some more, um, get some more mobiles set up before then. So what are we thinking? What else do we want to bring with us? Do we want to bring a... 
let's see, we're going to a canyon, right? Or no, we're going to Fertile Lands. I'm getting all, all mixed up with the previous embarrassing failure. Um, <clears throat> from there, we are going to a canyon. So it wouldn't be a terrible idea to get a mobile, a mobile mine set up, even though we already have a mine for this map. Just, you know, so that we're ready to, ready to unfold things quickly. So yeah, I think, I think that's what we're going to do. Alright, there's our gatherer two. Boredom's not a problem. Everybody is currently employed in a uh, in a gainful way. We are, in fact, still going through our fish faster than we are fishing them. So you set up. So if we don't go over there with mobile versions of these buildings, though. We're going to be food crunched as soon as we arrive. And remember, we will not be bringing over the pepkins because we're using almost all the pepkins for the journey. So maybe it maybe it does need to be the fishery and the cookhouse. Yeah, maybe. Well, we have enough wool. We're going to need 90 more stone and then also... We have to get 70 more ore. I'm going to go ahead and build this now. It doesn't really matter where I build it. We're unlikely to actually make use of it, right? But I guess I may as well build it in a place that makes sense. Let's see how much fish do you still have there? Oh, actually, it's totally going to matter. We're totally going to need to use this. So yeah, build it in a place where it's actually useful. Okay, termites, not a big deal. Actually, well, these buildings are both permanent. It doesn't really matter if they get hurt. Yeah, no, we're cool. Alright, and then... Are we going to need more... No, we have enough wool. We are covered on wool. How much time do we have left? Only 15 turns. You know what? You're gonna go and get some of the mine some of the ore mining done. Alright, you should come and fish from here now. Really, really like to get this built before we before we have to leave. A thunderstorm is not a it's not safe to stay around during a thunderstorm, as we saw in that last uh, the last one. Okay, so I think we're good to build the cookhouse now. Just put it down somewhere. <clears throat> I don't think it matters much where. We have four turns. So yeah, you can you can run to here pretty quickly. And then we're gonna we're gonna leave like as soon as the building's finished. Okay. Unless. Yeah, okay, you have a load of resources. Go ahead and return that. Okay, now we're leaving. So we have quite a lot of food. We have our cooking building set up. I think we're actually in okay shape here. That's not ideal. Um, so. We don't really have that many things to carry. Here, you can put 200 on your back. You can also bring the potions. I think we can be kind of non-optimal with our shapes here because we have relatively few total resources. I guess, unless I want to bring the stone, then I have to think about this a little bit more carefully. <clears throat> we do not have a lot of knowledge left over, sadly. Let's see. I would like to bring at least some of the stone. And then, yeah, we could do this. 
that leaves behind trivial amounts of, of stuff. Yeah, that's fine. It's enough food to get started. We have some wood for the to run the cook fire. We have stone to start rebuilding. It was a little messy, but we, we managed to make it without really eating any pepkins at all. Okay, so from here, we're looking at a big cost to this canyon. Or just, just a huge amount of fish that we somehow are okay not eating. So I think this is the intent, but it's gonna be it's gonna be harsh. Alright, let's try to find ourselves a place to uh place to start mining. So we have some pretty good fishing ground already. There's a lot of stone around. Not so much ore so far. Getting a little... little nervous. That's 200. What we need is a mountain. An, uh, an ore mountain would be... probably enough... enough points. I think it's really, um, I think it's really going to do this to us. Uh-oh. Well, we have a couple of options here. If we cannot find a place to, uh, to mine, if we cannot find one more tile worth of ore to mine, uh, we could improve our quarry with the stone gives, gives ore thing. Well, no, I was, I was, I said we have two options. Probably what we have is two Two things we have to do together, so not options. Um, two mandatory moves. That thing I just said, and then also a market where we trade off excess stone, but it's not exciting. All right, uh, so we just want to be near trees for the most part. I think honestly, putting down right here makes sense. We got three three forest tiles within a single turn's movement, even while carrying resources. And you know, pepkins if we need them, I suppose. So you set up the camp. We have enough resources that we don't need to be fishing right this second. Actually, let's have you scout this way. Uh, you... Go get that pack beast. Omi can start working on wood. Oh, right. Marlene should probably be working on wood. So let's... Let's have Omi do some scouting. Okay. Alright. Drudgery, unimportant. So, that is... Not enough, but it's real close. 400 of the 450 that we need. We can absolutely work with that. This is about to be finished, right? Simri's an engineer. Hooray! Uh, yeah, give me... Give me all that knowledge. It turns out... If you really focus, you can generate a hell of a lot of knowledge. So, we're still going to need to... Do the thing with the quarry. Um, which is fine, because it's a mobile quarry. It's a quarry that we intend to use for a long time. So... It's sensible to buy that upgrade. We'll get a lot of benefit out of it in the long term. And then we also have to mine out all of the ore, and we also have to be careful how much ore we spend here. But without a second ore tile in the biome, it would have been a real bummer. Oh, sure, yeah, I guess I haven't actually left you any uh, orders. You should... get the... Fishery set up? I didn't realize how close we were to being out of time on that. Is this... This tile's in the... In the aura. Well, that's annoying. It's fine. Sorry. 
You need to get that cookhouse up, like, right now. See, this is, I get, like, very focused on one thing, and I stop paying attention to other things, and it gets dangerous. <laughs> you are absolutely just going to sit there and wait until that quarry is done. How did that get rebuilt faster than the fishery? I guess I gave the fishery order first, but also you were further away. So this takes 80 wool. Um, there's enough stone around here. I think it's sensible to just go ahead and start the mining. So we're going to get so much stone over the course of, Yeah, maybe not. Maybe we have to hold off. As much as I really don't want to. Uh, so we need a pasture. And I think we're still in a spot where... Yeah, we're building permanent pastures. So I guess disregard me for a second. Go get wood. Go gather wood. Okay. Food income is happening. Water rising, obviously. Not something I'm excited about. And then once we have some wool income, we can we can talk about building a permanent uh, stone mine as well. Alright, the food is coming in. Everything is fine. We are totally okay. <laughs> Let's let you deliver this uh, this harvest cycle, and then we'll... Okay, so 20%, if we mine out these two, that's 120 ore on top of the 400 ore that's on the, on the table. Should be pretty doable. Uh, so if we wanted to build... Okay, we need 120. Fisher level 2 should probably be fine fish. Yeah, I don't think we can afford to cut the fish rate. And plus, fine fish is potentially infinite. It, does, it feels like that's not how that's supposed to work, but it, might, it may be the case that fine fish is infinite. Because it seems like fine game is infinite. I bet if if that is the case, I bet there's a bug going on there. It might be the case that um, it's it actually is depleting, but it's not deplete it's not decreasing the label on the space correctly. I would believe that's a possibility. Termites. We have no jungle hexes to worry about. And I'm just assuming we're gonna be okay on wool. Um, but maybe that's not that safe of an assumption. Ah, no, we're cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. So you are going to put up a mobile mine here. And then we'll just move it for the other one. Actually, you're going to put up a mobile mine over here because you're also going to be the person who says hi to that caravan, probably. Everybody else is quite busy. Wow, Zimri is a fast fast mover and a fast builder. I think we're still in a place where construction costs are a problem. You might not get there in time. Okay. The skills of a gatherer 3 would be neat, but I don't know that we could handle them right now. Well, we're at 5 housing. We could upgrade the thing for for more housing. Yeah, we can we can handle another person. Unless Unless we can't handle them food-wise. I bet we'll be okay. You are a stone cutter. Uh, do we need faster stone more than we need more knowledge? Probably not. I really want to get to the preservation thing in both the stone and the ore trees as quickly as possible here. I think I'm going to say knowledge. Yeah. 
Knowledge is real good. Alright, so your deal... Nope, there we go. Your deal is you're a gatherer. Cannot construct... Can only be specialized in one thing. Okay. That's fine. Welcome aboard. Uh, go over here and gather... Oh, right. I don't have housing for you yet. Go over here and wait until I have housing for you. You know what? Actually, go over here and... S wait, do we really... Oh, that's right. Because Zimri's, Zimri's using housing, even though shouldn't be. Because those are the rules, man. So, the other camp upgrade costs valuable resources. I think... Let's just do this. Right, this is the right thing? Yeah. We'll just buy that. Okay. So, yeah, your deal is... What? Which, which deal are you? I actually think I do want you to soothe this. Yeah. Because we're about to want to start pulling fish out of this tile. Alright. Oh, you're done already. Well, that was some very efficient soothing. Um, what else can we have you do that's valuable? I guess you can go and gather wood. So you are already doing that, and we probably have more wood than we need. I could set up a an additional pasture, I suppose. We could just work on getting the... Yeah, and a mobile pasture is quite cheap, and it's probably a good thing for us to have. I guess it would go over here? So we'll have, we'll have one of the... one of the. Uh, you should probably just start moving this way. Or I guess, actually, you should move to here. Because you can just gather from this one, that's fine. And it looks like we're holding, we're holding steady on food. Steady-ish. Wow. That was bad luck. <laughs> two of our mobile buildings. Not just two buildings, but two mobile buildings. Alright, we spent a little bit of ore there, but I don't think it's a big deal. Uh, I'm going to let you grab this. Finish off that stone deposit, and then you got to go work on the mine proper. I don't think I'm going to worry about that. We don't actually need stone. Who wants to say hi to these guys? I don't know. Let them let get closer. Yeah, so like, you, can, you can take a little break. Uh, if we give them 40 wood, they'll give us a bunch of rations. You know what? I'm into it. And we probably... Yeah, we don't need to start gathering pepkins or anything. I think we're okay. I could have Omi come over here and start working on this, and then do some repairs. Ugh. Of course the repairs cost ore. Which building will malfunction? Yep. Makes sense. Uh, that... Yeah, it's affecting one of the tiles we care about, actually. Okay, there we go. Not a big problem on a map with no mountains. Alright, fog is not the end of the world. Let's 
So we're getting there on the ore, but I'm a little worried. Okay, um... I th we're gonna take the knowledge. But... <laughs> I'm a little worried. So we do have a pack beast. We have pack beast to spare. Probably want to set up a market. I know there's like a lot of... A lot of this game is just me making the same moves that didn't quite do it in the last game. Let's repack this. You are going to unpack it next to this thing. You are going to run over there. Well, actually, you should probably do something else in the meantime. I don't know what. We don't really have a lot of value for you to do. I guess you could do this for a minute. Go resoothe that and then. And then back to the important work. So, here's a question <clears throat> How much does it cost to build a market? Because I've already forgotten. Oh, it's easy. Let's build ourselves a market right here. We're certainly not going to use this. We have stone. We have excess stone. I think I want to save our knowledge for expanding the caravan. So I'm not going to buy that. Ah, Zimri got all the way up to level 3 again. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're going to have recovered basically to exactly the point that we were at uh, at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> So, we don't really need to push wool any harder. I don't really want to pay the pack animal cost here. So we have 200 more wool com or 200 more ore coming in. It's not quite enough. I guess we should wait. We should gather tradable goods. Among them, wool. But also stone, right? I'm going to actually have you mine some stone. For trading purposes. The only reason we really... Very annoying. Need to, uh, need to engage in market stuff is because of time. But unfortunately, that is, a real, that is a real actual concern. So we're doing fish this time. Sea tartar is better. Okay. Plus, remember the um, <clears throat> this upgrade's on the building, not on the miner, so we are still getting some ore from that. Oh, I forgot to. I was gonna. I was gonna buy some upgrades. We could have. We could have lost less knowledge. It's probably not a big deal. We have a lot of good sources of knowledge. I don't know exactly how much I would have been able to clip off there, but it's definitely not optimal. Now, we could hang out for a while, even once the fog hits. Uh, inconvenient, but actually we're fishing from the other tile anyway, so who cares? Oh, I, I fished this tile out before, <laughs> before it became an issue. You are a very good fisherman. Okay, so we are now out of ore. I'm going to have you... Go start repairing buildings. Oof, we really shouldn't. It's The repairs are so expensive. This building's at 35, so we'd repair it five times. This one we can we can fix up. This one's a little bit more expensive. We'll worry about this on the next map. We'll have you do this to get a little bit more ore. And I think I think this is... The plan is going to be to just have everybody keep working here for a little bit. 
until until we're about to have the squall. All right, <laughs> pulling fish out of an unexplored tile. Okay, that's all repaired. <clears throat> we may as well go this turn then. Yeah. Let's get out of here. And I put us in a position where we, um... Oh, hold on, sorry. Before we get out of here. Let me remember to buy this. We're putting ourselves in a position where we don't have a lot of options going forward, so if we see an ugly traversal cost, we're just going to have to live with it. Although, we can look at it right now. That's probably actually doable. <clears throat> you can see we're at we're at 900 rations right now. We could we could make that happen. This leg is also doable, the Feather Road. Why does it cost 22 potions to travel the Feather Road? Maybe it's a lot of tolls across the swamps by I assume building bridges and also just, you know, you got to have food. I think we're going to be okay. I think we can make that happen. So, as I keep starting to do, let's figure out what exactly is coming with us. It's definitely not everything this time. We have too much, too much heavy rock. Uh, our stuff is shaped pretty funny. What if we... What if we start with this? Hmm... Yeah, these buildings don't really go together very well. So we can like put... We can just put some wood and some potions back here. And then... That leaves us with some dead spots, but... We're certainly not going to be able to avoid that. And we don't really have to bring anything except food honestly but we can we can stash some more building materials in here without hurting things too much and basically it's like a hundred stone versus um, versus the 600th food there's enough room here that I bet we could figure out I bet we could rebalance this and figure that figure out an, enough space for another thing of food um, if we... Hmm... The shapes of the buildings are really awkward. If we move this down like that... Let me, let me pull some stuff here. If we move this down like this, we lose that space, we create this... Yeesh. This is not better. Boy, I, what did I do here? I had I had more space than this. Oh. Yeah, this is really awkward. We're, we're able to make so many five tile wide spaces. There's so there's so many good ways <laughs> to make five tile wide spaces. <clears throat> uh, if we, gosh, if only we could rotate things. We have so many like little prongs sticking out to the left, and then also little gaps that are on the left side of the shape. <clears throat> Maybe we just don't bring any stone. I don't know that we need stone. 
We have a quarry and we have a mine, a mobile mobile quarry and a mobile mine ready to set up at the beginning of the thing. We have a very efficient stone gatherer. Yeah, maybe we just don't bring any with us. Even if we did bring stone with us, it's only going to be a hundred. It's not going to be enough to actually do anything with. So yeah, let's just do it like this. I'm sure there's a way to jam a hundred more wood or a hundred more food in here, but this will do. It's enough to cook with. All right, well, here at the Big Canyon Halt, I think, is where we are going to uh, going to be calling it for the episode. I got a little, things got a little messy there, but we've recovered, and I think we're, we're in a good spot here. So if we're planning to go this way, we need an awful lot of wood, and it is a canyon halt, so there's, there's some danger that there's not going to be enough wood, I suppose. We could call an audible and go this way. We'd have to learn how to brew potions, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, I think I think those things are... This is what we would prefer. But it's not unreasonable to just take the long way around, if we have to. And I think we have good... We have good potentiality for that. Like, we can see all of these spices already. So, this is where we're going to call it for this episode and for the day. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, tomorrow, I'm going to be trying really, really hard <laughs> not to repeat the foolish mistakes of earlier this episode. And we'll see you then.